Hello everyone, so today I'll be going to the nearest Supermod by Walk. Um, the reason I'm wearing the abaya and the headscarf is I feel much safer walking in the city with my abaya and my headscarf, but it's not really a compulsion. Here's what my abaya looks like, so let's go! Riyadh is constantly hustling and bustling, and here are some of the shops that come in my way. The Shawarma Classic falls in my way and I obviously couldn't resist. Then here are some other restaurants and places near my supermart. This is the mart, the noob, and here's what it looks like from the inside. I'm just skipping really fast through it because I just really don't want to bore you guys. Um, here are Takis, but they're super expensive here, so we're gonna step down to Lay's. Um, there's a little promotion going on in Lay's, so it's just more budget friendly. <laughs> Moving forward, here's what the other sections look like. Arabs are really big on cheese and pickles and there's this whole salad bar kind of place always in every center and where you get olives, you get these Egyptian pickles that I absolutely love and adore. Here's some mortadella. I'm going to get some olive mortadella for me and this is that. Let's go to the bakery section. I love the bakery section at Danu. It's so fancy and nice and there's just freshly baked bread. But I'm just gonna grab myself a bran bread. And we also have Ben & Jerry's here in Saudi, but it's super expensive and the local ice cream is just much better. Here's Nando's uh, sauces. I love those. I wanted to pick up one for myself, but there was no promo on it. Moving forward, we just I'm just skimming through the chocolate section. In all those other sections, I ended up just buying these things. And now we're going to check out with the stuff. I came back home and set up my fridge and this is how it looks like. I am back, but it was the most dehydrating walk of my life because it's so hot here in Riyadh. Next day, I started my day off with a cup of coffee and some peaches. Uh, moving forward, since today was Friday, I had to clean up the place by myself. And this is what it looks like after all the cleaning. Time for some Juma prayers, so there we go. My mom told me that she made some barbecue and that got me really craving for some good food. And here's what I made. Some tandoori chicken with some parathas and baked beans. I decided to buy some gifts for Yamin and Yusuf. Here's me trying to single-handedly unpack and feeling at it. So I'm just going to get these out and then restart the video. I got them a projector painting, a kitchen set and the sub Game Boy. Um, the sub Game Boy was super fun because now I'm just going to try it out and show you guys what it looked like and how it felt. So this is me playing Super Mario after ages and... Um, I, I really don't remember how we used to play these games, so I'm kind of figuring out which buttons work for what. Then I searched up for Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong as a child was one of my favorite games. And here is me again figuring out some of the buttons. <laughs> and yeah, there we go. I've completely forgotten whether we had to pick these drum rolls or not. Wow, I had to escape them. So there, me failing at it again. Then you can hear some popcorn blowing up in the kitchen. So me, Yusuf and Yami, along with wow. our friends, decided to go Big outside time. for dinner. Um, here are the kids. Here is Yami. Say hello. Food has arrived. We ordered some Turkish kebabs, hummus salad, Yusuf. and well, that's all. So here's me checking myself out here again, and there, the big moment. Yusuf decided to really throw a tantrum when their parents had to take him home and there's him giving me a little kiss and that's all for today bye